Uh, Alex Stanley of Outdoor Discovery Adventure Company. How do you feel at winning this award? Today? Absolutely over the moon. Fantastic. A little bit overwhelmed. Didn't expect it at all. Um, I could say I'm shocked, um, but it's something that I think is going to be great for my business. Um, so I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. Can you tell us a bit more about your business? Yeah, we're an adventure company um, based in Ballymahan. We do adventure activities predominantly um, around the Midlands and we've also got a Dublin base where we've expanded into Dublin to um, sort of deal with that market and um, we run activities for school groups and companies, team building, um, individual groups, stags and hens, so basically everybody is our customer. Anybody can do any of our activities. I think Evan Wow just by saying Google and PayPal have, you, have used you in the past. That's like correct. Team building yeah. exercises. Actually Google are coming to us uh, next week. Um, another one of their sales teams. Is it difficult? I mean Longford isn't regarded as a tourist hotspot. Is it difficult to get people down for those type of activity away days? We're really lucky in Longford to have um, the Indy River in Ballymahan. It's a whitewater river. It's the only whitewater river in the Midlands. Um, with the Royal Canal, we have Newcastle Forest and we have Lochry. So Ballymahan is kind of the hot spot for adventure activities in the Midlands. And um, we've found our niche in that area because it's allowed us to offer a wide range of new activities that haven't been available anywhere else in the country. Whitewater rafting, for instance, and whitewater tubing. They're two activities that we've brought into the country. And while they're not as extreme as you might find in Canada or America, we bring the Irish crack to it. And it's amazing fun. How do you get the word out to these companies? How do you attract um, them? To we use a combination of um, traditional media, newspapers, uh, flyers, act, things like that. And then we use social media, email, phone calls, text messages, and word of mouth. Word of mouth is one of our best, actors, best ways of advertising. I've been asking everyone. The County Enterprise Board, of course, sponsor, sponsored these awards. How, how important do you think they've been? Um, in my business, the County Enterprise Board has been incredibly important. We've received um, an employment grant to employ, um, to help employ a member of staff. Um, we've done a number of their um, business courses, start your own business course, tax and business, social media and business, things like that. They're activities that um, really help us push our business forward and help market our business and ensure that it's a strong company that's going to run correctly. Are you optimistic for the year ahead? Is it expansion or, or consolidation? It certainly is expansion. Um, Year on year, we've we've doubled and, and tripled our turnover over the past couple of years. So um, this year, we're planning to expand further in Ballymahan, and um, can't really talk about it now. But we are doing something quite interesting over the next couple of months, and uh, I could just say, watch this space. Tom Kelly of Kelly Menswear, as, as you said yourself, how does it feel to be an overnight success after 40 years? Well, it feels very nice, and. Uh, like other businesses in the last number of years, we had to diversify, and uh, this is how we've done it. We've, we've gone to other export markets that I have experience of before, obviously, um, from previous companies. But uh, we just worked at uh, we worked in Japan, Germany, America, just for uh, bespoke type work made from Irish fabrics, which is you know, Ireland is a very popular country around the world, as I. As you know, and as I found out, and, and, and uh, it's very well received. And, and uh, we, we, we've worked with some of the uh, sort of old-fashioned, if you like, uh, tweed companies that make handwoven stuff, and uh, we made garments in it for the, for the higher end. That's basically what it is. How would you characterise this this board of the Lafferty County Enterprise Board and other local authorities in the last few years? County Enterprise Board in the form of Mick Nevin for me uh, have been very helpful, always available, um, and uh, they've been they've been good to us uh, in all directions. And hopefully, whatever new form that they take, uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be uh, that it'll still be accessible as always. What's the next plan for your business? I understand you're diversifying into Japan now. Yeah, well, we've, we, we got an order um, from Japan, from one of the main stores in Japan. Uh, it, it, the store is described to me as the Brown Thomas of Japan, but um, we've a small section in there where they sell uh, original items, and we're in that department. We supply 260 units this year, and we've an order for 500 for next year already. So obviously the, the hope is to grow that, and maybe visit Japan and have a look, and uh, see what kind of people are buying the product, which is the, 
would be of good interest to us. I'm not really sure at this stage what the market is, but it's uh, it's very high end. But the age group is something I'd be anxious to find out about that we could maybe work and improve with their with, with their technical people. Hopefully it'll go well, Tom, and enjoy your trip to Japan. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. Gary and Ailish Tour of GNA Analytical. Uh, can you tell us a bit about your business? Um, we have a business that services and calibrates laboratory equipment. Uh, core competency would be our pharmaceutical sector, but really any, any company that has an, uh, a laboratory from uh, an environmental testing lab to a QC lab to an R&D facility. What were the advantages of setting up in Longford? Because I know you came back here to set up. Cheap babysitters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I have to say we have grandparents very close by. Um, cost, cost of living is a little bit better, and uh, commercial rents are pretty pretty keen. It, it at was the it was a combination really. It was that the family support was was here, which is very important for anybody starting off new a new company because all your hours, early hours, late hours, you. you, you give to the business and when you have your own family they need structure so to have the family support there was, was very important and obviously the, 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 the commercial side the, the availability of units in Longford as well as opposed to heading towards the Dublin area you know also contributed to, to the decisions. How would you characterise the support of the County Enterprise Board and the local authority in your business? Um, the County Enterprise Board characterise it as, as good support, open door policy, good support, good listeners. Um, they don't get as much support from, um, I would say, central or main government, that, that, but they should. Like, the support for small businesses growing here is, is they're always scripting and saving. It should be released more, Fun, funds should be released more. Um, Michael Nevin has is doing his best with what he has, basically, but, and he can He's doing actually more. He's doing more than most. So we would say it was, it's excellent. You can't fault it. You started in 2009. Uh, you've grown since then. Uh, what are you optimistic for the coming year, and, and what's next for your business? Um, it's been it's been very busy over the past about 12 months. Uh, the, the company incorporated in 2009. We started trading in January 2011. So to, you know, it, just, it was a sideline business to start with. Um, we've taken on a UK business uh, since January of this year. So our focus now is really probably just to steady the ship for the next three to six months and come the, the, the uh, spring summertime next year then we'll, we'll see where where we can develop and what other doors we can knock on and what other customers we can win. We, we have a lot of very important customers, well every, every customer is important to us but they expect a lot from us now uh, so we have to commit and we have to fulfil our promises and there's no point um, us going off in a tangent in any particular direction and um, upsetting that whole um, fundamentals and, and foundation that we've built and relationships we've built with our customers. So it is illustrated, it's about steadying the ship now and moving, moving on. And looking after the, the customer base that we have and make sure that we, that we provide the service that we promised to provide to them. Um, Maureen O'Hara of Rapid Print, uh, can you tell us a bit about your company? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Rapid Print is a family owned business. We're in business since uh, the late 80s. I took the company over in the mid 90s and uh, we're general printers and uh, we print very, very wide variety of products. Um, How do you think the County Enterprise Board have, have helped you so far? Support, they've, they've run a lot of courses which I've done a few of and uh, in general they have uh, helped us uh, stay connected to people through the Women in Business Network and uh, we found them very um, very innovative and very helpful. Of all the, you say you've been in business since the late 80s, well, how does this era compare with, with that time when, when you started? It's very yeah. similar in many ways. It is. It would be very similar in ways. Uh, you have to uh, reinvent yourself every second day and uh, we've started a full range of memorial stationery and we've expanded in our wedding stationery range and 
I suppose they're both two businesses that haven't been affected by the recession, so that's stood to us. Uh, we still have very loyal customers, which I love to have the opportunity to thank them for being with us for the last uh, 20, 30 years, and we work closely with a lot of the local GA clubs. And um, we've got two national accounts in the last year, which we're very pleased about, and hopefully we'll develop in that area.